welcome along. I'm hoping this evening. <laughs> oh, whoa. Thank you. Even out, please. Uh, yeah, so uh, hello, welcome along. I hope you all do it. Hopefully that is the only glitch we have tonight. That would be very good. Uh, Netsam19, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Uh, we'll see how this works. Hopefully this will work fine now. <laughs> right, I need to uh, get my capture box back up. No, that's an output projector. I don't want that. I want to select just that and create a source projector so that I can actually see my game, which is always very helpful. Uh, also, yay, that works. Right, how are we all? I hope you've all had a good, what day are we? Tuesday. Hope you've all had a good start to the week. For those of you in the UK, I hope you had a good bank holiday yesterday. And, uh, and, and hopefully some of you got a few days off between now and New Year. Uh, I, yeah, I'm still off this week, so that's nice. Um, welcome along to, uh, James Goy, Luke Alder, 1988, uh, Eugene Creel, Farmer, 8130. Uh, welcome along to all of you. Mass Ferguson, man, welcome along. Uh, Caden H12, welcome along. Uh, Mr. Ratty, welcome along. McCaw, 4162, welcome along. Uh, Luke Elder, I said hey to you. Netsar19, welcome along. Disturbed, welcome along. Fisher J, welcome along. Jesse's Long, welcome along. Um, who else? We've got Daniel Ginsberg, welcome along. Uh, I think that's everybody. It's like one giant bank holiday at the moment. It really is. This is this is the weird point of the year. This is this is this is the point of the year you normally get, where you don't know what day of the week it is. Except that, as many people have pointed out, that's been the whole of 20, uh, 2020 up to this point. So, uh, yeah. Ah, you know, that's that's how it goes. Uh, right, shall we jump in? Then, 24 viewers. Uh, as always, first giveaway at 75. Uh, first I need to do tonight, though, is the cows and the chickens need doing. So that is going to be our first thing. Oh, time up to five times. Uh, and then we can start looking at our land. Uh, we've got a little bit of time. We might actually be able to put the second thing of... Uh, uh, second thing of slurry on tonight as well, which would be good. Uh, did I see where Peter... Uh, I did see that uh, Peter J is making the, um, uh, the Massey. Uh, which is very cool. Now uh, that is going to be uh, that is going to be a wicked little mod. Evening, Farming Girl Twenty Seven. Saying about wanting more weeds and seasons. The latest updates you let you increase them. Good. Yeah, that has been needed. So I need to get that. I'm doing great, thank you, Paul. Yeah, I think uh, I think an increase in weeds and seasons. Good. I uh, I want to to do that. Hey, Hen Dog, welcome along. Paul Sinclair, welcome along. Yeah, we're on Bessie tonight and uh, tonight, Friday and Sunday this week. Um, we will be on, um, uh, we'll be in Yorkshire for the multiplayer tomorrow on uh, Home, Home World Farm. Uh, and it's in the settings menu. Let's just have a quick look. Seasons late, crop moisture, snow tracks, snow modes, crop damage, weed intensity scale. <gasps> Let's whack that up to 50. Hey, Trandall, welcome along. Um, Hendog1000, thank you for the host. Paul Sinclair, thank you for the host. You're both awesome. Farming Girl27, thank you for the host as well. Uh, you are awesome. Netsound19, thank you for the host. You are awesome too. Uh, right, that's enough. Uh, we'll, we'll do with one more hay. But, oh, we're going to have to go and buy some more clover. Thankfully, we sold all that milk last time. But we need to buy a lot of clover. Uh, a lot of clover silage. I'm not going to take all four of these. It probably will take all four. But uh, I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit. Fine, if you sell some land, it resets your fertile pH. Does it? That's interesting. So field flipping isn't a great... Oh, actually, this puts a big stop to field flipping then. 
Wow. What a great way to stop field flipping. Uh, doing the bees. Oh, yes. We've got to do the bees tonight as well. Yeah, because we need the income from that as well. So once we've got the, uh, the cows done. Right, that's enough clover silage. Um, we need fresh maize and we need maize silage, which we've got. Uh, both are buckets up the top. So we'll go and spin around and get those sorted next way. Evening, Hoya73. Welcome along. It's fine with nearly every harvesting contractor done a short and can't complete it. Really? I haven't... We'll, we'll have a try on, the, on Bessie. Um, and see how we do. But really, that might be a bug that needs fixing when they get back then. Um, I have heard people suggest that what you really want to do... Uh, is that is that on stuff that you've not done any contracts on? Or is that on stuff that you've sprayed first with minimal amount? Good evening, Dark Star Simulation. I'm doing well, thank you very much. Yeah, had a good day. I had a productive day today. Even it's it's really weird. I've had a very productive day and yet feel like I haven't done anything. Going to have a lot of corn if your soybean yield goes up. Wow, that's impressive, Fisher J. That's really impressive. I'm looking forward to seeing how our crops do on here. Um, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna have a bad yield on both 25 and 24 um, because of the um, because they're a little bit too acidic those fields, uh, and then I think we're gonna have a better yield everywhere else. Uh, any news from the lovely people at Twitch? No, not yet. I'm not expecting it until after the new year, which actually suits me fine because um, our average is gonna be 30 day average is already over 100. Um, if we keep going like we are, uh, we're looking at having uh, uh, an over 100 uh, 30 day average and we're already over 80 on our 90 day average. And if you look at it, it's just this nice upward sweep. Uh, so uh, hopefully Twitch will take a look at that and go, yeah, you, you can uh, partnerships going to help you and partnerships going to allow you to um, to do what you want to do going forward. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Should say you're on Flint Hills. Yeah, big map. Um, but, uh, yeah. A new year, of course, is just around the corner. When we're, uh, Next week is probably going to be a couple of ifs on the schedule. Um, if Chellington is released early in the week, we will be doing it on the multiplayer from Wednesday. If it's released later in the week, we'll be doing it on the, in the multiplayer from Sunday next week. Uh, it obviously won't be released in time for Sunday this week. So, uh, yeah, we got uh, we got one at least one more stream on Homeworld, uh, and then we might have one more. Um, I'm expecting Chellington to be released by maybe the third week of January at the latest. Um, and then I've got to do my first look over on the YouTube channel, and then uh, yeah. And then we're going to be doing... Wow, that's a lot of WCS. Uh, and then we're going to be getting the MP started. Did I manage to have a look at the map? I have not had a look at it yet, James. I need to... Um, I want to see... Yeah, I want to see if I can integrate them without having to reset everything on here. Uh, it's... It'll be a lot of fun. But we'll see how it goes. Did I see the 4D news? I uh, Was that the new... Um, uh, that was the new uh, spreader, uh, which, yes, I shared it earlier today. I think I'm having a glitch with seasons. First day of mid-spring, six day seasons, no geo. The soil temp still hasn't raised enough to seed anything, but the air temp is higher. Um, I don't know, Massey Ferguson, man. That can happen. It, it's there as a... First day of mid-spring. Um, yeah, no, that can happen. I've had that before. Uh, if it's if it's the seeding window, seed it. Put it in the ground. When the temperature gets high enough, it will germinate. Um, but yeah, I, uh, don't worry about that. If you're in your seeding window, seed it anyway. Yeah, seed it anyway. 
Uh, oh, I didn't see the picture. Hang on. There's a picture in my Discord of Balin Craig for FS19. Although, as I said before, the work I'll have to do. That's the... Uh, that's Oxy stuff. There was a there was a picture somebody posted of. Uh, I'll have to look through it later. I can't see it at the moment. Evening, Jonathan. Did I have? A, I have not had a chance to look at the skin today yet, Jonathan. I'm sorry. It's not private. Oh, I have heard about that one, Paul. Yeah, it's not private, but apparently it's awful. <laughs> apparently there are lots of problems with it and it's not an official um convert right how are we for wcs uh we still need probably another couple of buckets of that how you doing the j-man james welcome along uh on your RE at the moment, T7220, same as my old one, T6175, bit of 70, yeah. Nice, that's a good mix of tractors, Evan J. Hart. I like that. Man Crave was a league, it caused chaos in, in everybody's Discord. Yeah, it's, I, I saw that posted elsewhere. Did you post that picture elsewhere as well, Paul? Uh, oh, I saw it posted on uh, Facebook. That's where I had the info that it wasn't a uh, that it wasn't a good mod or a good convert came from. Unsanctioned rework, yeah, no permissions. That does not surprise me. I mean, I could get away with uh, possibly if, if yeah, I need to. I need to. Whatever version of Iron Craig comes out for FS19, I need to uh, rework my own version for Eddie. But I'm having fun with Eddie on the north coast at the moment. Oh. Get that um, smaller um, pipe as well, I think. Oh, oh, I'm not touching that with the barge pole. If it's using Oxy's hedges without permission, I'm not touching that with a barge pole. No way. Now that we cut the grass once, we're going to have to keep it trimmed, aren't we? People who post it to get everyone excited. Pathetic, really. Yeah. I mean, Ballon Craig is a great map, um, but it, it required some alterations for it to be a playable map for me. Uh, right, do we need any more? Uh, yes. At least one more bucket. Yeah, that's always a big no no. Wow, we're going to be out of WCS soon. We're not going to make it through to... Ooh, we may have to buy some silage bales. And we're definitely going to have to buy... Uh, get the BGA and sell manure. Uh, we've got way more manure than we need. I have seen the simple IC mod. I don't tend to use it um, because when I tried using it, it really messed everything up. Uh, there's no tickets at the moment, Hunter. We are n the giveaway has not started um, because uh, we are only at 61 viewers. When we uh, average out at 75, then uh, then we will do. <laughs> What was for supper? For supper this evening was uh, ribs, uh, jacket potato, and peas. And it was very nice. 
like like a, a good set of ribs right how are we doing it's a pity we lost all of that yeah it'll take another load uh it's a pity we lost all that even after you yeah it's sometimes you not only need to remove it but then remove the references to it in the mod ribs are great just booked up a d1000 looking good uh yeah my only trouble with the d1000 is that is the fact that it requires the um uh the straw harvest dlc don't get me wrong i love the straw harvest dlc but we tried using it on here with straw harvest enabled and we just had all sorts of issues to the point where we just ended up scrapping it which is a pity because it's a really nice New Holland baler and would fit in on this map very well. Um, but yeah, I think we might end up upgrading our baler at some point to actually getting a New Holland baler on here. I like Straw Harvest, don't get me wrong, uh, Evan J. Hart. I just, uh, it's just that the D1000 um, just seemed to muck up with it. There were options where I tried to disable some of the, D, uh, the uh, Straw Harvest stuff. Uh, and it still required all of it and it just yeah but yeah as you have maize plus and straw harvest without any issues yeah oh we're full right we're gonna put this up by nope we're gonna put all of this up by the top because we need to get the fresh maize Do we have any... Oh, yeah, we missed all of it. Okay, why did we miss all of it? Oh, wow. Because we were tipping it. That's why. Right, there we go. 825 litres too much. Uh, 40 minutes and there were two versions of the one I need to go it was like it's like with the um, the slurry spreaders that I had the slurry spreaders I had were out of date so I need to go and grab the d1000 off there maybe and see if we can get a working version of it so 12 meters for quicker harvesting and bigger grain cut well I think we're gonna end up with bigger trailers and things on here eventually simply because we're going to have more fields to work and we might even need to keep two harvesters running at some point which is going to be fun uh when we can't actually right will this do it no i don't understand this is wcs it must be because the fill level's too small but I don't know why it's it's fermented silage we've got. Don't understand why we can't put it in there. We might move the fermented silage actually out of the silage bunkers. Look at J-Man Jones' comment. Seems to have added a lot of input bindings now that can't be bound. Also, does the D1000 just release for consoles still need straw harvest? Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried it on console, to be honest. Uh, oh, no, I need fresh maize. Right. Yeah, we're going to do our... We're going to do our trees and our... Oh, wow. We are very low on this as well. We're going to need to cut some grass and take it straight in, I think. Because this... Yeah, that is empty. Okay. The Heston, ba the Heston Baylor would be, except it doesn't fit in our... Um, in our bale shredder. But it would be a pain in our bale shredder because we would be able to do fewer bales at a time. It's also quite pricey. But yeah, Heston Bales are great when you're 
uh, when you're doing stuff a little more standard. We put in, you know, we're putting in uh, eight bales at a time into our shredder, and we can't do that with the Hestons. Uh, nope, not a IRL. We haven't had any snow at all, to be honest. Right. How are we looking? So they need more of the... It's a pity they don't graze on here. Uh, need more water, need more straw. Okay. Let's go deal with the uh, water situation. And then while that's being dealt with, we can deal with the straw situation. You just drifted your subject. Hey, Fat Boy Slim 19, welcome along. Hello, Wiggy. Hello to you in Denmark. I got some pain tonight in my right wrist. I was pulling up, um, uh, brambles in the garden this afternoon. And, uh, oh man, did that hurt. I, I did something to my wrist at one point and it just hurts. Fast tracks have been patrolling some of the streets around here. Had about a foot. Wow. Why not smooth out the edges of the yard grass to keep it low and saves me cutting as well? Because cutting it is part of the work that needs doing on the farm pool. That's the thing. I would, but um, but I want to be realistic. Right, we've still got the bucket on here. So let's do the uh, chickens while we're at it. Still got plenty of feed for our chickens. What are bramble? Uh, what are brambles? Brambles are uh, very spiky weeds, kind of things like um, uh, blackberries and things like that grow on brambles. Um, and for supper this evening, Canadian game was uh, spare ribs with uh, a baked potato and uh, and some peas, which was very nice. Right, that's the wheat. Yeah, prickly stuff. My wife bought me a pair of gauntlets for the garden for Christmas. Gucci Man 19, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Oh, no. There we go. Barley next. Should really have noted how much we had left. Uh, yeah, yeah. The 4D modding is part of their uh, Air Agri, I think, is the website all his stuff is published on now. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but it is uh, a case of getting there and uh, and getting his stuff off it. Is uh, it's remembering to do stuff. Oh, I'm showing 72 pool. So a little bit more. But I know to well I would use I, I need to pull the roots up Canadian gamer because otherwise they just grow back although uh, yeah I could take my strimmer to it but kind of defeats the problem two hours on the grain scout still not done constantly going to the combine combine to lorry wow oh I tried to get if anybody saw yesterday's video I was trying to get course play to work course play was not having any of it I need to check I'm up to date with course play. Because it was doing funky things yesterday. Took me, yeah, as I was saying before, it took me three days to record yesterday's video. <laughs> but it was worth it. You know, not often of a single harvester, a uh, single harvest, can you uh, buy two new tractors. 
Thank you, Paul. Oh, come on. There we go. She could be tin. Just watched my TikTok shows. I was going to say there's a new version of Court Play. Yeah, I thought there probably was. I, uh, I I keep forgetting the stuff that isn't on the mod hub. I keep forgetting to update. Been catching catch up on Six Ashes today. I've I've been very pleased how well um, Monday's episode's been received. It's, I'm very very happy with that, um, and I'm glad you guys are liking it. Two episodes left. Oh, you'll enjoy you'll enjoy the one from this week and the one before. It actually, is pretty good. Um, we're gonna be switch now with harvest and everything. We're gonna be switching to precision farming on that. Uh, so that's the next thing, and I need to get the precision farming version of the map on there. Oh, let's take that off. And we'll part this up because I don't think we actually need. Yes, I think this is full. I can't believe you're stuck in a tree. Uh, Luke, you, as I said, it took me three days. I'd had plenty of uh, plenty of time to get calm. Uh, last comment, last comment. Use your car attached to a string and put. Yes. We're definitely using this tractor more now. Save it for Challenge. I'm loving precision farming. I really am. It's it, it, with seasons and maze plus and everything. It's just it's making me think that extra bit more. Right, how much have we got in here? Uh, three bears. That should be enough. Are you planning on getting another field for the next year if we have the cash? Uh, yes. There are. There is another field I'd like to buy. Um, and we should be able to farm it. My car bumper has not fallen off. Boop. Somebody's been telling you, Porkies. Right, that should give us enough space to empty the water. Afternoon, Big Frida. Welcome along. Yeah, 16.6 .6 hours on this tractor. I did nearly buy one of these for uh, for Six Ashes. It was very close between this and the 7840. Because they're both about the same horsepower. Oh, a little bit further. So how's this doing? So straw, we've got a lot. Water, we've got... I'm amazed, considering how much time we spent doing water last stream. And the fact that this one takes 18,000 litres. Blue... Blue... 70... 73 thank you for the follow welcome to the vfn now that's empty we need more straw so we are going to have to load this up today the liquid tank trainers are pretty awesome but they are we require so much uh water for our cows now it's ridiculous uh do you want me to remind you to update course play at the end of the stream no that's fine i'll uh, i'll get it done Oh, we can repaint this weight now. That'd be good. All right, let's get this turned around.
while that's opening up we'll go and get the telehandler uh do i use the electric i have used the electric tractor um but i uh, i'm not using it on here because we've got the uh 7810 on here that we're using for what i would use that for need to get the water ah no i don't want to i quite like doing the water myself but we are gonna have to start i mean how many liters of water does it take yeah kind of need i think we're gonna need to um start using a, a larger water tanker trailer which in itself is going to be fun to maneuver to do that with and that's that's the trouble we've got evening adam cross welcome along pipes on the bell clock thank you You know me too well, Paul. You know me way too well. <laughs> right, that's there. Good. We've actually got a decent amount of space. Right. What I want to do... Thank you, the follow sadistic goat gaming. Welcome to the VFN. Is so we're going to take that top one and just clamp onto that. And then bring it down a level. So then bring it down a level. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Bring it down to here. Uh, drop it. Uh, damn it. Oh, then I got to clean up my mess. Yeah. We can recover this. This is fine. Just need to take one off the top again. We're fine. I shall be fully recovered on this in no time. So there we go.
Right, do you take living expenses? No. No, no, no. Uh, it's realism within the confines of the game. So it's, it's not, there's no expenses that, you know, external to the game. Um, and to be perfectly honest, doing the RE, you will struggle if you, if you did that. It would be, uh, it would be very different. It would be nice if there was a mod that did that kind of thing, but uh, no. Farm money is the farm money. Already harvested over th Wow. That is just an obscene amount, Fisher J. That really is. The rent for the forklift could technically count. Yeah, that's true, actually. Because we do always rent the forklift, so that would that would work as living expenses. Ah, fair enough. We do kind of pay living expenses then. Don't know how much it is daily um, rental on the forklift. But I suppose we do, yeah, we do with that, sort of have that. Hello, Aaron J. Nicholson. Welcome on 96 viewers! Exclamation mark here in the chat. You have... Oh. A two-minute countdown starting from as soon as I get my phone up with it. Okay, you got two minutes! Exclamation mark here in the chat. Hopefully, I'll be loaded the rest of this up by then. Last two bales. Minute left. We're going to get some more of this uh, into our cows before we do that. Hey, JC Cattle Co. Welcome along. 78 goody. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Uh, do I do any construction while play off camera? Not really. I don't be up to be perfectly honest. As I've said many times before, I don't tend to do a lot of role play off camera um if i do play farm sim off camera i tend to basically play uh the realism side of things but to be perfectly honest i play and pretty much everything i do farm sim i do on camera anyway so hello ty how you doing uh christmas was good thank you oh wow we're gonna have a second giveaway straight away uh, because we've just passed a hundred viewers on here as well. So exclamation mark here. You have two seconds to get your entry in. Oh, right. Let's get this doing. Oh, wow. I can fire straw over the top of the other tractor. Well, that's emptying out. Let's get it on. <laughs> It's gonna land on DJ 
78! Ooh, great demand at the barn. Okay. DG78, let me know that you are here. And I shall put your name in for the giveaway for free. It will cost you no groats whatsoever. There you go. He is indeed here. Congratulations, you have a free entry into this month's giveaway. So we'll just get that set up. Uh, what is today? 29th. Right. Then, immediately, I'm going to clear this list. Exclamation mark here in chat. This time, we're going to give a computer game away. Hello, uh... Dewey78 or 79. Hey, Chris the Irish Gamer. Welcome along. How you doing, my friend? What's the giveaway? The giveaway uh, is, is this month's giveaway. Oh, exclamation mark BF giveaway in the chat if you want to know what the monthly giveaway is. Meanwhile, I'm going to get as much straw into these cows as possible. That's the door. Ah, that, that's it. Okay. No more capacity to drop. Perfect. Go park this up and then get some more water into these cows. And maybe repair this uh, or repaint this white weight on the way. 52 seconds left. And then I'm going to uh, not only do a giveaway, but give away a computer game as well. So uh, free entry into the monthly giveaway plus a code for uh, thing. Exclamate VF giveaway, Caden. VF. Not just giveaway. It's in the title of the stream, people. Upper grabs is a... What was the great demand for? We'll have a look at that in a moment. Probably after the 10 seconds have passed for the... Uh, oh. For this giveaway. Right, there we go. Away we go again. been selected let us know you're in the chat and then we'll spin the wheel for you and let you know what game it is you've got and get you a free entry into the monthly giveaway 44 seconds left there they are Congratulations. You have a free entry into the December giveaway. Let's head over to you. Oh. Paste your name in there. That's all good. That's all good. And that's done there. Right. Spin that wheel. What is the game? The game is... Lion Quest. Where is Lion Quest on my list here? Uh, there it is. So, uh, yeah, McCaw, you will receive a copy of Lion Quest. I have not sent out the last few. Uh, I've got a few games to send out now. I'll get them sent out tomorrow. Uh, Water vote uh, 59, 59. Welcome along. Right, and I need to select a new game. Ooh, on Rusty Trails we're going to put on the list this time. 
So that is our new game on the list. Uh, replacing Lion Quest. There we go. All done. And dusted. Right. Uh, that is disconnected. Uh, no, that is not disconnected. No, that is disconnected. It just looks like it's not. Mike says, Marsh, Griffiths, and Marshall. Yeah, I uh, I like his stuff as well. We've got the... We've got the Master on here. No, we've not, have we? I can't remember what trailer we've got in here now. It was... Oh, yeah, we've got the Bailey on here. Um, oh, I was going to do the... Wait. Can't wait to play if I saw you order the new desk for your steering wheel. Excellent, Caden. Yeah, we need to uh, sort this weight out on the front of this. It'll cost us £500 in spray paint. Yeah, 500. It's the weight is half the value of the freaking weight. Hello, Harry. Welcome along. Uh, so, yeah, next giveaway at 125 viewers. Uh, you need a Guitar Hero guitar for the giveaway. I have a Guitar Hero gi uh, guitar. I could I could go and get it. <laughs> I have one for my Wii. Right, there we go. Okay, so that should be our animals sorted. Uh, we've got some more water stuff to do, so we'll do that. Very tempted to use my big water trailer for this. Or my big milk trailer for this. Kids got you a G920 for Christmas. Is it okay for Farm Sim or is the G29 better? It's okay for Farm Sim. The only difference uh, is that the G29 has a couple of extra buttons, I think. There we go. Right. So, we are going to be on... Uh, we need to get our honey sorted now. That paint better have a good warranty. No, it'll disappear within three days or something stupid like that. <laughs> this is single player. Uh, Jplay01, welcome along. I hope we well, had... Yeah, we had a good Christmas. Quiet one, but a good one. Right. Spino down. Uh, needs to disconnect. Drop it off. There we go. Right. Get an MX weight. And yeah, that's true. Hey, Grumpy One Chicken. Welcome along. One hour and ten minutes. Nice. Uh, oh, we want this. I think I don't need a trailer for this anymore. I think we can just run this purely with the gator. I think when we go to do the shop delivery, we'll need a trailer. I think the gator will basically do us what we need to do at the moment. Actually, we'll need something. Uh, we'll need a trailer for the other ones. But this should work fine for what I'm going to do now. Because we are going to take this. Oh. And load it into the back. These are pretty light. Oh, really? I was hoping... Yeah, okay, you've got to go that way, have you? Right, okay. Fine. Oh, wow. I need the flatbed, I think. Right, let's go grab the flatbed, I think. Last stream this year? No, we've got a stream tomorrow at Farmer 8130. Go be lucky and play your own fuss. Cool. Right. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, we'll drop the back off. And we'll pop down to the shop and grab ourselves the flatbed. Oh, drop the back. Oh, drop the back. Can you just drop the back? Look at the animation in that. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Well, you think it's it's seven years? We're on the seventh uh, seasons year, or seventh in-game year on here. So it's you know it's amazing how far we've come in seven years. Uh, heck, we've been through four different ones of these. Right, so we should be able to open the back, is what you're saying. So if we go... What is the command for that? Uh, tip side, unload. No, I can't open the back of it. Oh, no, I can. There we go. There we are. Drop the back down. Do the job nicely. to the back perfect i think i know what our screenshot's going to be today hey martin ml gamer guys check out martin he is awesome you will not regret it fantastic streamer here on twitch uh for those wondering we have fifty three thousand seven hundred and eighty two pounds There we go. Maybe turn the wheel the other way. I'm doing good, thank you, Martin. So there we go. Uh, oh, need to unfasten that. Lift this out. Woo! Ah! It's all right. What we're going to do is we're going to go upside down. Let go. Dancing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spawn four pallets. And then hopefully what we can do is just grab this. Bring this around the side. Whoa. Let's pick it up as far away as we can. No, as far as away as we can. There we are. Get 
and properly done. And load it into here. Can you make... Oh, we make... Yeah, we make a lot of money from honey. The trouble we've got, Martin, is that it takes so long to get all this done. So, it, it basically, when we're doing honey, it's a, it's a day's job to get the honey done. But we have two shops to sell it at now. So, we should be able to make even more profit than we have previously been making off it on here. Uh, it's great. It doesn't work in multiplayer, this. Seems like a lot of janky physics. Yes, there is a lot of janky physics in Farm Sim. Have you met Farm Sim? Janky physics are its middle name. Right, there we go. And more. Born for more. So we should have as many here. Now, I'm hoping I can put this on top of the, uh, I know, yeah, it might work. We'll see. We'll see how well we do with this. Uh, deer would be cool. Uh, what, a John Deer? We've got a John Deer. That's what my gator is. I've got it in yellow, but it's a John Deer. Uh, being the, yeah, that would be pretty cool. I mean... Why do I have only have 30? Oh, I have got one more in there. Why am I only picking up 13? That's weird. Yeah, that honeycomb... Okay, fine. Janky physics. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, oh, eight. Lost a bit. Yeah, we lost a few bees. That's fine. Considering how long we've been going, that's not too bad. 93% of our bees left. Uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. Hang on, I've got an idea. Whoops. Throw them in. Oh. Huh? Okay, we have some spares. I think contracts companies should be bought in. Beer company wants. That is not a bad thing, J plays. Uh, that would be pretty cool, to be honest. Right, there we go. We'll leave those there have a look at this so we've got 30 fill level 13 pieces capacity is 14 we've got one honeycomb here that just seems to be taking a while to do but there we go oh we need to put that back in so 13 honeycombs in here Full of honey. Let's go and get these processed. Hey, 
J Tev, welcome along. Good to have the grass cut. We're probably going to sell the uh, Christmas tree at the beginning of next year. Uh, so uh, I think Saturday, um, Friday stream, New Year's Day, we'll probably sell the uh, sell that. Let's see if this works. Yep. Who did that put in there? Just I'm not sure actually. Oh, we're gonna go and need to get some honey pots. Uh some uh yeah. We've got an issue. We don't have any honey pots. I thought I'd got a load. Maybe not. Oh. Now leave that under there. There we go. What we can do is fill the buckets up with honey and then go and get the honey pots. Sell the Christmas tree on Sunday stream. Yeah. Wait. I'm just gonna unhook that. There we go. I think you pay off uh, the, 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 that would be pretty good. Right, let's turn this up. Oh, because I need this. There we go. And then when we empty them out, we can put them straight into that. Pull that up. Put another new one in. as many in there as will go in wow it really sort of loads up this All right that's it in need of a bucket oh it's in the last CLC what the precision farming I love it Let's move this out of the way. Pop round here. Oh, we're going to have... It, I don't know why it does that. It spawns them together. We only want to spawn one each time, I think. If I spawn one, then I don't lose a pallet, which is good news. That one will be down at the shop next time we go down there. But you could have just one person on a farm doing honey all the time. You know, they would... It is a full-time thing for this. Hello, Danger Engaged. How are you doing? Uh, half a million... Wow. Right, we'll just keep spawning them out until there's... Uh, until there's none left. Thank you, Evan J. Hart, for gifting a 
Oh, sorry, the Fisher J. Thank you for gifting a sub, a tier one sub to Evan J. Hart. You are awesome. Right, we can get some honey out of here now. I think we can. Can we extract all the honey from this first and then use the that? That will be an interesting thing to check out. Yeah, we've got no more pieces in there, so we can just fill this up again. Ooh. The ability to pick things up is great. Uh, no, kids, but I can't see. Currently playing FS17 on Kendall Farm. Awesome map. Uh, TW35 Dominator. T That's a nice setup, Ollie Mo. Uh, who was it? Uh, uh, Evan J. Hart. I expect 50k of silage or 15k of milk. Wow. That is a huge amount. Uh, Dan Nugensberg. You redeemed a giveaway draw. Oh. Oh, yeah. Free monthly giveaway draw. Way. Two minutes, people. Exclamation mark here in chat. You have been gifted a free giveaway draw Ooh. entry. Exclamation mark here. We will uh, we will do it in two minutes. Thank you, Beer Slayer 805 for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. I might change that for next month. Uh, Tanag 100. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Right, that's all of those. Let's get these in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I do like. We'll basically, fill these up and we'll go and get some jars in a minute. Because we've got to go and pick up the empty ones from the shops. Oh, there we go. We've got a couple of empty boxes down at the shops, uh, which we should be able to fill up with jars. And then if we keep the uh, honey flowing over the summer, uh, then we should be able to do this. Uh, yeah, we need to do the muck and water around the bottoms of the trees. We should be able to do that with this as well. I don't think they take much muck. Uh, and we need to... I mean, they've got some at the moment anyway. Uh, you can't get honey on... Co well, not like this you can't, unfortunately. Um, it, uh, it requires the global company mod. As you can see, all over it. Are we out of honey? We might be out of honey. Or we might just have... Might just need to empty this. Yeah, we need to. Oh, no. We're standing in the wrong place. Nope. We need to get the bucket out of the way. <laughs> Thank you, Mad Alice Gaming! Oh, your six month gifted subscription from Galcom Gamers entered the second month. Welcome back, Mad Alex. How you doing? Guys, go check out Mad Alex. He is a cracking streamer. And well worth checking out. I nearly cleared the list. Well, thank you, man, Alex. Hope you're doing well as well. Hope you had a good start to the week. Oh, -ha! grumpy one chicken. You have been selected for a free entry into the draw. All you need to do is let us know you're in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll turn off the Gator engine when we get back. Oh, it's not often it goes down there. Here's Grumpy One Chicken in here. There we, there they are. Congratulations. You have been entered into the monthly draw. Or monthly giveaway.
Right. Right, let's turn this off. As was suggested, uh, and now we need to get some bits out of this. Yeah. We need to spawn out any pallets that are any um, honeycombs that are empty now. There we go. Come on, there we go. I think it's because we did a partial empty previously. And here. Not a massive amount of honey out of this. Need to draw the get. No, I don't, Adam. It was a gifted, so um, you can gift a uh, you can gift a free draw entry, uh, but you can't gift a free uh, game giveaway. Next game giveaway is at one hundred and twenty-five uh, at one hundred and twenty-five viewers. Um, we are not there at the moment. Yeah. That's not a huge amount of honey we've had out of that. But that is empty. There we go. Right, let's put that one. Does that have any honey in it? No, that's empty. Honey is the same color as the buckets. It's not helpful. Old school, much carting right now. 78, 40 in a night. Oh, nice. Right, down to uh, down to the shops. Not in this though. Close that up. Down to the shops in the flatbed. Or with the flatbed. And the landing. Always does it. Always. Right, and away we go. You need an open back landy. Uh, no, because we can't fit enough pallets on an open back landy. We can fit them on the roof for this, actually. Uh, but this is an old Air Force landy, hence the colour. Oh, oh, we've got to go weed spraying today as well. We're going to need to get some more herbicide. Did we take all of our boxes back? We may have taken all of our boxes back, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure. Good afternoon, old bear. How are you doing? Uh, yes, I am speeding. <laughs> right, where are we? Yeah, we took all the boxes back. This was a pointless trip.
There we go. Yeah, they're, they're in the stack in the bar. I thought I had some down at the shops, but I don't. Was behind the shop in the field? Uh, nothing, I don't think. Hey, Rob Simo, welcome along. Or if we want to get some grass for our um, cows, we could pop down and just cut that field down there. We don't really have anything we can collect it up with other than the baler. A couple of grass bales would probably be okay. Right, we'll I'll take this into the barn then. Spot something next to it. Okay, well, we're, we're going back down there in a minute. So uh, we'll check that out. I only need... Yeah, there's something weird with the VCA. If you don't completely stop and ch and you shuttle, uh, change the direction, it doesn't break anymore. It just keeps going in the direction which, uh, which you were previously on, which is weird. For example, and I'll turn that forward. Okay. So, what are you doing? Oh, no, it just sets it going forwards. That's what it does. That is rubbish. Right, we want two of these. One for each shop. Got to spread out in like a wagon to fill the tank from. Oh. Nope. That one. There we go. We get close enough to do those ones, but not the other ones. Right, let's go fill these up with some jars. Uh, and maybe we can pick up some... Uh, oh, yeah, we might pick up some herbicide. Well, oh, no, no, we'll pick up some herbicide later. So people keep recommending field 12 to me as well But field 5 is the next one on my on my target. Uh, I think we can make a lot of money from field 5 Let's not reset the other bit here yet uh, DIU 79 thank you for the follow welcome to the BFN Right, so we need 12 of these per box. So uh, we, need tw uh, we need 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Let's take this over here, fill one of these up, and then we can get twelve more. Field five is like, yeah, field five is absolutely perfect for us, so. Nope, that's popped out the other side. Pop beneath. Oh, come on. Get in there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, which is field five? Uh, it's at the top of the map. Hang on, I'll show you. Field five. Is 
is up here. It's that one there. If we look at the, the value, so field five, 83% loam and 16% silty clay. It is just amazing. And if you look at this, you can see where... So basically the loam will be like <laughs> that much of the field. It's ridiculous. Field 12, similarly... Oh, field 12, similarly, uh, is fairly nicely split. Uh, field 10 must just have this big... I can't quite work out how field 10 is so awful. Because you look at the shape, there must be a, a massive swath of silty clay that goes like that. Because it's just, yeah, don't know why. Buy another box of bees. I don't need another box of bees. Right, that one is wrong. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yep, perfect. I wish you could buy box of these like this because it would just make my life so much easier than having to uh, to stack them in there we are Got a lucky uh, six hash of soil type since most of your fields are loamy sand. Oh, that's not too bad. I, I find the silty clay a bit more of a hassle than the loamy sand. Um, I have no idea what the uh, fields are like uh, where my uh, where my main farm is. Uh, we are going to find out probably this weekend. I oh, know on Friday. Is it Friday? Yes. Uh, I'm looking to put the precision farm in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know if to buy bulk mod. I have considered it net sound, but I don't know if it would affect these. Um, if it affects everything in the pallet section, that would be cool. Uh, and yes, I need to get that mod in, in here. There we go. Right. Nope. Ah. Uh. Come on. No. Oh, well. This will strap them down. That will strap them all in. Uh, we'll have to work out. The triggers are all wrong. Ah, now it won't do it. Right. Uh, we need to get that... I mean, it will work, but not how I want it to. We will probably have to get them off with the forklift. Right, bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do I have front loaders or telehandlers? Um, it's a bit much so much. Depends on what I'm trying to do, to be honest. Uh, if I'm trying to uh, stack bales pretty high, uh, very useful to have a telehandler. If I'm looking for something cheap um, to sort of run around the farm and use, uh, I tend to go for a front loader. Uh, right, right tool for the right job to be honest it's like on here we had a we had a telehandler and a uh, and a front loader for a very long time so we realized that the, the front loader was a little bit surplus to requirements oh no 
Um, because it didn't, um... What are you doing? Come on. Nope, that's popped it out, because it was only just inside. Right, that's good. Um, but yeah, it depends. Uh, sometimes what you're doing stuff with requires a telehander just because it's easier to see and easier to work. Other times you just don't have the money for a telehander. So, uh, you, and you don't need that much. There we go. Stack them in. The trouble with this way is that uh, because we're not actually going to be able to lock down the uh, the pallets or the contents of the pallets in the pallets, we are in serious possibility that the moment I pick them up, these are going to fly everywhere, which is not good. Not good at all. Uh, the buy bulk mold does work with... Oh, cool. Excellent. I will have to get that mod because I've been comp contemplating getting it. Uh, thinking about getting this game, how in-depth does it go? As in-depth as you want, Colton. As in-depth as you want. I play... Uh, I play realistically. I have no issues playing this game realistically. It's a fairly easy thing to do for me. Um, that's why exclamation mark realism in the chat if you want to see how I play this. I see, why won't that do that? Okay. It's good enough, but it's, it's still favoring the outside one on that front one. We could do this. Uh, yeah, forestry and haulage, you can take it as far as you want. If you do decide to get it in, and, and want it, I do have... I have a Giants partner. You can check out my partner links. Uh, that is the Family Simulator 19 one. You spot by mod. Haven't found any issues out of the mods. Okay, I'll have to grab it because, yeah, there are things that I buy in bulk that, that I really... Well, there are things I buy that I really want to buy in bulk. So that would make a lot of sense. How are we doing? Uh -huh. Get this back in here. Let's turn the engine off on the landy. Right, there we go. You see, they're nicely strapped down, and I have to worry about it less. Let's do this. So, and then we'll take the straps off. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh. Knew that was going to happen. What I normally do actually these days is just stack these on here. So there's a good level or, or a good amount for it to work through. And yes, there is some overlap because of the ones that are already in there, but that's okay. That's that's more the uh that's that I call the uh limitations of the game as opposed to 
unrealism. Whoa, where am I going? What the heck? Janky physics, people. Janky physics. But yeah, if we unload this, then we can load it up at the other side. You see? For some reason, I keep lifting up against this wall. And I don't know why. And it's making it harder to do this. Let's move this forward a bit. And then I can do this like this. Much better. What are sheep like in seasons? Uh, sheep are pretty good in seasons, but my recommendation, I think, uh, is to do a mix of wool and lamb production because uh, if you don't, your sheep don't actually aren't actually very worthwhile. Uh, I would, yeah, I would definitely go for a uh, a sheep breed that does both. Get the class here. Yes, I would. I would get the. Uh, I would actually get the uh, premium edition if you can. Unfortunately, you can't use my partner link to get it. But um, yeah, I recommend the premium edition uh, because uh, it's it's a lot. Of, it's all the content for thirty five pound, which is just amazing. There we go, and one more. That is going to go strangely. There we go. Right. So that over there. Maximum spawn them, and it continues on, and we can put these two into here. And just load it back up. Oop. And that is basically the ins and outs of uh, of honey production on here. We just keep doing this. Oh, he shoots, he scores. Is that empty? I'm sure that is. Is that empty? Yeah, that is now. Oops. Hey, how easy it is to drop stuff in this. Because you move so fast most of the time. Trying to give to give away it's cute, but it won't let you why. Have you already gifted one today, Paul? Was it you gifted earlier? You can only gift one per stream. Uh, what was for supper, Adam Cross? Uh, this evening, it was um, uh, a, a spare ribs, jack of potatoes, uh, a jack of potato, and, um, uh, and some peas, which was all very nice. No, and drop it. There we go. Straightens everything up. That goes on top of there like so. This pours in. Still some left. Actually, it might fill up one of these. Hey, TQS06, welcome along. It was, yeah, it was very nice. Never give to... That's weird. Have you got enough groats, Paul? That is the other question. Just wait for it to stop again. 
I drove my tractor to your racetrack last night. The fishing jets! I threw <laughs> my pitchfork at your dog to keep quiet. Now something's telling me that you've been avoiding me. Who are you? Come on now, darling, you've got something I need. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you. Uh, it could be on a timer as well, yeah. She made me laugh. <laughs> I'll stick by you, I'll give you all that you need. Who are you? We'll have twins and triplets. I'm a man built for speed. Who are you? And you know I'll love you, darling. So. Give me your hand. Who are you? Well, I'm just a hillbilly. All those acres of land. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. God, I can't reach Come those high now, notes, let's can get I? Get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres yeah, that's and empty. you got 43. Now, uh, I yeah, Bessie Beneath is cracking, man. I love it. Uh, it does Who need an update, which is the one version I'm playing on. For seven long years, I've been alone in this place. Who are We're halfway there. In the kitchen, it's a proper disgrace. Who are you? Now, if I cleaned it up, would you change your mind? Who are you? I'll give up drinking scrumpy and that lager and lime. Because I got a brand new combine. Arbiter. Hopefully, it will be pool at some point. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Then we can take this lot now down I to the shop. Now I got a new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Who loves you, baby? Uh, won't we a grand couple at that last Virgil's dance? I wore my brand new gaiters and my corduroy pants in your new Sunday dress. With your perfume smelling grand, we had our photos took and us sold in hands. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Now that we're both past the fifties, I think that you and me should stop this gallivanting and will you marry me? Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Thanks for playing the sound alert. Who are you again? There we go. Thank you, the Fisher J, for playing the, the, the long version of uh, Combine Harvester. <laughs> and that's why we strap him down. Because we can put that there now. And go R. 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 Ah, first three combines is finished. Wow. You have a lot of combines, Fisher J. I think this. Yeah, these only hold 10 litres each, these buckets. But we're looking, yeah, so we've got another set of uh, jars here. Looks like we're going to have one set of jars today. But we'll keep an eye on those. Robert, uh, I would do uh, tea, but uh, yeah, uh, Cold Park Farm's never going to happen. Chellington is an awesome map, though. Don't get me wrong. And uh, welcome along. Guys, check out Twog68. He is awesome. Cracking streamer. Uh, and, uh, and yeah. Go check him out. Oh, Twitch partner too. Which I'm not yet. Soon. Oops. Chucking this around. Soon. Hey, Smitty's World. How you doing? Uh, yeah, everyone will be playing it, which is why I'm doing it multiplayer. Oh, come on. Mech and I'll here on Friday. It'd be nice, but fr well, Friday's New Year's Day. Uh, 
Give us a free giveaway thing, a Christmas gift. You did. Yes, I did, Canadian gamer. I threw up. A, I threw up an extra one over Christmas, and I am. I am. I is giving lots away. We very nearly hit 125 viewers tonight. I think we got up to like 118. Maximum spawn. There we go. Pig farms are check. Well, on, um... There we go. And I think that is... Yeah. So that is a full pallet. Oof. Ah, there we are. Was that moving? And um, we unload these ones. So that they're ready for because we've got some honey here oh pinged it didn't mean to ping it there we go Uh, do you know if Bessie ever's going to be made plus ready? Uh, no, to the point where I think I'm actually going to do it myself. Uh, I want, it's, it, you can use Maze Plus on here. I am using Maze Plus on here. But uh, Maze Plus ready as in uh, having the extra crops in? Uh, not at the moment, it isn't. But yeah, I use Maze Plus on here with no problem. We just have to uh, buy in things like the uh, clover. That's all. Which is fine, because we don't really have a field to glow, grow the clover on. Uh, and we don't spend a huge amount of money buying the clover in. So, whoa, not the whole box, please. Just one of those. Come, Doug. <laughs> oh, that dropped. One has been filled. There goes another one. Keeps filling from that side by the looks of things. Trying to stack stuff. This is why I hate egg, egg boxes. Hey, Trance, welcome along. Because egg boxes are a pain to stack. Uh, the same is true of uh, of these. And it's a pity there's no way you can just sort of pick up a stack. Right, there we go. And that box. Ooh. You move too fast in this game, always. I also wish with these, you could lock these down. So you come up to here. There's no way to, to lock them in position, which is annoying. I kind of want to place them and lock them. A bit like the, uh, actually, a bit like the beehives. The beehives you lock in place. You know, you actually place them. Uh, these you pick up and then you you can, you know, they just move around. 
Whoa. Right, there we are. That off. Back it round, Mr. Barn. Good. And down to the shop. Uh, last comment. Uh, it would be great uh, New Year's if uh, Twitch made me a That would be lovely. I was hoping it was going to be a Christmas present. Um, but uh, yeah, it would be, uh, be lovely if it was a New Year's present as well. Hey, Housewell. Welcome along. Right. I think we need to get some herbicide and we might start doing some spraying. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any other jobs. We need to we need to actually do some more water as well. What does it mean to be a partner? Um, more emotes for you guys. Um, better encoding for video encoding for you guys as well. I'm in the wrong place. Um, uh, basically, uh, it, it kind of improves things i i need to get the whole list of what it means for you guys um there's also some perks for me as well um and uh, and various bits but basically as always i'm always looking for the stuff that gets that that will feed back to you guys and make the stream better for you guys uh yeah it, it's an achievement it, it puts you in the top i think it's the top 43 there are only 43,000 um, partners, I think it is, on Twitch. Uh, which, considering all the people who stream, that's, you know, that's quite an achievement. Wow. That shop took a lot of those straight off the bat. To the point where, this is what we did last time when we found this out. Ah, no. We can't unhook that. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave that done up and leave this at the back here. So the shop can pick those up. And we'll take this back and head back down to the main farm. Uh, it means that I tell you uh, what I had for supper at uh, Housewell. 4 million streamers, 43k partners. Yeah. Uh, com but not compared to 4 million, Adam. That's the thing. It's top 1%. Is it even that? 1% of, uh, of 1 million would be... Would be 4... Yeah, it's top 1% of streamers, basically. And it adds an inch or two in. <laughs> that I can't comment on. What was for supper tonight, Housewell? Housewell for supper this evening was some very nice spare ribs. Um, uh, along with jack of potato and some peas. Now oh, I'm two inches. <laughs> shop, oh, shop for herbicide. Yes, we need herbicide. Probably need a couple of tanks. Thank you, Paul. What would I do without you? And now you guys know why it takes me so long to record a video. Because I forget to do stuff all the time. <laughs> right. Kieran McKeefel, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. I apologise for uh, uh, mangling your surname there. I mean, leave that running. Right, there are Massey Ferguson dealer here, ship here, and we've got uh, right uh, pallets, herbicide. Oh, we don't. Uh, we want these herbicide barrels. Yeah. Uh, I want four of these. There we go. Right, load them up. Is the same laddie on the mod hub? Uh, no. No, no. This, the laddie I've got on here is from uh, King Mods. 
Uh, it is a cracking landing. The guy's also done... Do I have it in here, actually? I don't know if I've got it enabled on here at the moment. No, I haven't. He's also done a 1970s Range Rover, which is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That I want to use on a map at some point. Valley, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Sebastian dealership, you should make my no. I'm quite happy with my boards. Normally, I try and tailor my tractors to the dealership, but uh, no, here we're um, we're not. <laughs> Can I fit four of these on here, even? Oh, I might be able to. I do them like that. Okay, TQS, catch you later. And yes, I need to sort out alert command. Actually, I need to make a list. In New Year, I want to uh, to rejig the uh, commands and uh, and things. And I think we're gonna. Well, I'm waiting for the partnership response to see what I'm gonna do with the. Uh, emotes because uh, i want to rejig one or two of the emotes aren't uh, quite as relevant as they were the uh not a shed one in particular doesn't really apply anymore there we go thank you paul sinclair later j place thanks for joining us if it was John Deere, catch fire. <laughs> what is the time? Ah, okay. We'll get these back and then we can do some herbicide spraying next time. It's still not a, it's still not a shed, but it's more obvious that it's not a shed. Uh, L-A-A-P, Lisa, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Oh, no, no, that's not picked that up properly. How did that happen? Oh, there we are. Oh, that's better. What I love about this is that this turns really sharply. down right oh wow there okay let's strap those down it does strap them down it just doesn't go over the top of them Definitely a shed. Uh, what am I loading onto the trailer? Herbicide barrels, man, Alex. Uh, it would be cool if you could pick the ratchet straps depending on the weight that you're strapping. Yes. Um, I'd also like to see something similar to ratchet straps on the um, on header trailers. Because, of course, you strap headers onto trailers. Uh, and I'd quite like to see those as well. Uh, yeah, these are the che you can get these on the mod hub, Mad Alex. They're the cheapest herbicide. Uh, they're the cheapest way of getting herbicide and fertilizer. These are fertilizer, a uh, herbicide. Oh yeah, they are herbicide. Good. Oh, I thought that said her fertilizer on the top for a moment. Um, yeah, cheapest way of getting uh, a herbicide and fertilizer in the game is via this uh, this barrel mod. There we go. And strap, strap. Turns on a dime, this thing. 
But yeah, I suppose as somebody was saying earlier, our daily rental cost for this is basically our cost of living. So we're, we kind of do. Right. Later, Adam Cross. Thanks for joining us. Uh... Have I done a series where you'd run an organic farm, like no splays of any kind and miss the weeds first growth and you couldn't get rid of them? Uh, I haven't. I have considered it many times uh, and not felt that it's... Not felt that I could do it justice. Um, but uh, I might look at it at some point. It's not something I've seen anybody else do really that much either, which is interesting. Bye, Grumpy One Chicken. Thanks for joining us. Right, let's get these over to our herbicide shed. We'll unload these next time. Uh, we'll just park this all under here. Oh. Are you gonna... Stop. Thank you. Was there no... Interesting. Because we still need to deal with the water. And stay there. Just very little... Uh, okay. Yeah, look. There's a, there's a gap here. We've got... Have we not got any fence? I thought we... Oh, we do have fence from here. But you could conceivably... Lower this down here and put another... Drive or... Uh, yeah. There's stuff you could do there. you get uh i'm not sure that would work right cows water like to get them up to about halfway here but look how much they used already today they are absolutely crazy i think it's a little too high for that it might be Organic doesn't necessarily mean uh, no, just limited in what you can use. Okay. Try and reduce the usage anyway, just because we want to... Um oh, don't want that up there. Okay. We're good at the moment. <laughs> om nom nom. Yeah, they are really going for it. Dusty made so we can do that with you. Yeah, I like, I do like, um, there's a certain amount of configurability to this farm, which is pretty good. Did that get us halfway? Oh, that did. Okay, we'll do one more load of this then. RV05, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. This fills up rather nicely. I think they, uh, I saw an update for this tanker today that they're looking to, um, uh, they're looking to add uh, pipes on it for the, uh, for the uh, manure mod, manure, uh, yeah, which would be quite cool to have to connect up pipes to to refill this. Quite like that. How many subs so far tonight? Two subs tonight. 
Look, uh, by the looks of the screen. Gonna have later, Martin. Catch you next time. Get this filled up. And we'll go give this to the cows and that will all be good. I'm very tempted to try filling up our big trailer next time it's empty. And uh, and seeing, you know, how, how much that helps us. We'll have to get the uh, lorry out to do that, though. And... Uh, we'd be good if the hose system could be extended to include water too. I think it doesn't it do water. I thought it did. I know it. I, I know it does um, fertilizer and, and herbicide and things like that. I thought it did water. Am I wrong on that? There we go. Yeah, I thought it did water. I haven't had a map where I can test it on, but I thought it did water. Happy New Year! If I don't see you before then, Farmer8130. We are going to go and get this refilling. We'll leave this refilling. As always, but that actually that's a good level of water we're up to as well. Happy with that. Right. There we go. Find a map support water hoses. Yeah. That that I think is the difficulty, uh J Man James. I don't know of a map that supports water hoses. I'm fairly sure you can connect two water trailers together. We'll pull it up next time. Um, I think we've got lots of multi-purpose tanks that do. That support the hose mods. Okay, I did not park that there. I don't think I did. Oh, turned that off. Hoff Bergman does, uh, but that's an FPS killer. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, there you go. You got 777,000... Uh, sorry, 779,686 litres of corn from 104. Wow, nice. Right, there we go. Slightly earlier finish on the farm, but animals are all good. Uh, we are making money again from our honey, which is good news. Uh, we've got the herbicide lined up for next time. Let's just go and have a look at this field in here. Did I forget the parking brake? No, we'll be fine. I could put the parking brake on, but I don't think that will stop a dodgy mod. I think it's the weight on the back. Yeah, we can we can uh, do this next time. So we're going to be doing the more slurry. Gamer Dragon, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Guys, go and check out GD. He is fantastic. Awesome, awesome streamer. Uh, right, where are we? So that's good. I want to check on these crops as well. These I don't think are ready to harvest. No, they are still growing. So we've got a little bit longer on our crops. Yeah. Uh, and you can see we've got no uh, we've got no weeds in these two. Well, we've got a little bit in here, but these are dead patches. Uh, you can see there. Oh, actually, we missed a little bit at the top. Um, uh, we need to go and spray all of these. Uh, and uh, we've got to remember to plough those in the new year. 
but then we might get a new subsoil or something we've got more power now so we don't necessarily have to use our plow we could go and grab a subsoiler let's have a look uh subsoilers 500 420 oh uh, no yeah plow wise yeah, I don't want to use a... We could use the Tetrapool. But yeah, no. So, yeah, I might go and have a look for subsoilers. Culti Plow is great, but the Culti Plow... Uh, the Culti Plow takes 420 horsepower. And our T8 has 320 so we don't have enough hp um i was just finishing off so we are going to finish there uh i uh <laughs> just finish it off uh i need to say some thank yous before we go i've got to say thank yous properly before we go and then raid although i don't think we're gonna have many raiders with that much of a crash so uh we'll see how we go um let's see um mad alex gaming uh, your resub happened tonight. Thank you to Galcom Gamer for that. Um, Fisher J, thank you for gifting a uh, couple of tier one subs. Oh, no, I don't. I, does that? Does the, no, no. The Fisher J gifted a sub as well. That's all we got at the moment. And where did the? Yeah, that's that's my thank you tonight. Only two thank yous. Wow. Okay, that's a low one for now. Oh, mummy, yeah, Chrome just went. Bleh. So, we're going to finish off here. Um, all that remains is for me to say uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this live stream. Uh, please, uh, if you're here on Twitch and you've yet to give us a follow, please do so. And make sure that you have notifications turned on so you never miss a live stream from me. Um, and if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, uh, please give us a like, drop us a comment, give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time uh bye for now